Welcome to another What's in the Box. My name is Jesse, and today we're going to take a look at Monarch from Resonant. This is a game sent to us, and it plays in 45 minutes, two to four players. Uh, this one, I've seen this imagery before. I don't know anything about the game, so let's take a look at What's in the Box. And at this point in time, I am peeling off plastic, and I'm here to tell you about twitch.tv slash hardboard games. Okay. This plastic's on way better than any other plastic I've seen. Twitch.tv slash hardboard games, where we play live. Also, check out Resonem over on Twitch, because they are also streaming. Publishers that stream, I love it. But if you're a publisher that doesn't stream, talk to me, and you know maybe we can help you out. So, Monarch. The heavy silence of the Great Hall was broken only by the rustling of dresses and the clanking of armor as the Queen's daughters gathered around her throne. The Queen gazed at each young woman, intense in her scrutiny. When all movement had ceased, the Queen spoke. I am dying, she declared. During my long reign, I have guided this realm to prosperity. I have vanquished the marauders who once roamed our forests, terrorizing our people. No enemy fleet dares to approach our shores. Today, Minerva is at peace. But now it will fall to one of you to continue my legacy. Which one of you has the grace and power to be our next ruler? Okay, it's a strategy game. Two to four players. So that's the theme. We're taking over for the queen. So let's find out what the what the lands hold. Who will reign? Let's take a look at this book. So feel free to pause at any time you want. I'm going to try to keep the glare to a minimum and keep it still so you can read just for, you know, just pause it. You got to pause it though. Whoa, where are you at game end? Oh, I guess it's just telling you that first. Yeah, that's good. I like a book that'll tell you the goal before we get into the gameplay. Here's what you gotta do. Or, you know, here's the in-game conditions. Cool. And the way I'm doing this is if I can read it on screen, then you should be able to read it on screen. And changes for two players. So that's something to keep in mind. Uh, some of these games, whenever they're two to four players, uh, there's some changes for two. Um, sometimes they can be for the better, but sometimes, mm -hmm. <laughs> like I'm, I've never been a fan of like dummy players. So we have some apples, more apples, the other sides. Now we have some coins here, apples and coins. Apples and food, cool. And we have this insert here. Does that look like, oh yeah, yeah, okay. Same art style. A linen box, nice. We have a bag, I like a good bag. That's a good bag. Nice like canvas style bag, good stuff. We have uh, big tiles, which I'll open in a second. We have little tiles, and we have the cards here. And we always look under the box. Fortunately, these make it pretty easy to look under the box because there's lots of holes in it. So let's take a peek at this. In fact, just give me one second while I fix the lighting on this thing. Because this, honestly, for cards, it's, it's good. Trust me, trust me, it's worth the wait. Just a second. You know what? Go hit that subscribe button while we wait. <laughs> um, maybe I spoke too soon. Why isn't it changing? All right, well. Maybe I spoke too soon. No, I didn't. I didn't speak too soon. Here we go. And kaboom. There it is. See? Perfect. It's way better, right? It's worth the wait. If you're not, if you're wondering, why didn't you just edit that out? 
everything here is live. It's part of the allure. So if you see me make a mistake like that, it's forever, forever on the internet. This is who I am. If you meet me in the in the wild, this is it. So let's take a look. We have a simple farm, a shrew farm. Oh, by the way, the backs. Simple farm. So this is about the size of a card right there. So I guess these lands will be getting upgraded. And a simple village. That's nice art. Simple village. Simple village. Simple or small, not simple. Small village. Small village. Simple farm. I guess the farm's a little bigger. So these are probably the player guides. So I'll just got to look at yeah, looks like one of them. So how to score. Count crowns, add bonuses. Feel free to pause it anytime. Once per turn, you can do these things. Cool, cool. Now we have some other things wrapped in plastic. The plastic on here is really tight compared to that other game. So another thing you'll see me do is struggle with plastic. I'm not gonna make that happen too long. I'm gonna get some scissors. We'll be done with this. And I, I say we're going to be done with this, but like even the plastic, like, um, <laughs> even the, oh, there we go. That popped. It's really, really tight plastic. All right. So I have a banner of culture. You must have at least two cultures. Two culture cards in your court before flying this banner. All right. Cool. Banner of balance. Uh huh. Banner of wisdom. Banner of might. Banner of bounty. Cool. And those are all that thick cardboard, like the rest of it. All right. Well, that plastic came off, and that was the last plastic thing. So struggles are over, folks. Here we go. Um, cards are, I don't know, they feel thin, but, you know, they don't mean the cards, so. The boorish uncle is your want, unwanted guest. Send him to a sister upon requiry. More unwanted guests. A drunk juggler? How's he an unwanted guest? Peddler, yeah, unwanted guest. Jealous cousin, yeah. Useless emissary. <laughs> All right, so the drunk juggler might be the least unwanted guest. So cannon, gold and silver, lost speaker, radiant dragon. So this is a land of dragons, huh? Tiger pelt, hunting ground. So I guess you could make things become bigger things like. I don't know for sure, I'm just guessing, but that looks right. Yeah, it goes from a simple farm to a hunting ground. I don't know. Speculating. Consecrated oils. By the way, the back of these, I think they're all the same. Yeah. All the same. Just want to make sure. Oils. So how do oils get rid of a guest? Copia, ermine, fruits from afar. Pure white stag. Hey, that's from uh, Harry Potter, isn't it? Tart cart. Tart cart. A stable, a castle. A whole bunch of places here. You should. And I know it's going to stay like that for so long. Golden Orchard, Grazing Land, Summer Palace. Royal Goatery. Jewel Bazaar, Hanging Garden. All of a thousand wonders, land of a thousand dances. Blessed ground. Beast keeper. Fireworks. Hey, we have those. So we're on our Twitch channel. Hounds. Monkeys. Okay, hold up. Hold up. <laughs> Where did this come from? Monkeys on ostriches. And we're back to normal. Orchard master. Rhino. Okay, at least that's the thing. 
Hall of Mind. Hall of the Mind. Monastery. Field. Observatory. Astronomer doesn't like fireworks. Using glass. Imposing automation. Okay, that's a lot out there too. A magnificent tortoise. That is the most real thing I've seen thus far. Um, map of Monday. A map on Monday. Massive encyclopedia, meditation robes, owl feather dress, apple moon, weak moon, different moons. Maybe end game goals? Play this card immediately, then return it to the box. Never mind. Towering amphitheater, temple of the sun, blue ziggurat, orchestra, cirque, um, precious comb. Arphus and Flautus, a Pomeranian. Portrait, glorious portrait. Glorious. Dragon Phoenix, Dimple of Mats, a bar and a coat. Cool. Monkeys on Ostriches. If you want a game with monkeys on ostriches, come on over to twitch.tv slash hardboard games. Watch us play a game with monkeys with ostriches. Monkeys riding ostriches. Something like that. And also check out Resonem over on Twitch as well. They sent us this game. And until next time, the box is closed.